Thank you for checking out my tutorial on how to check for bad breakers. The only tools you will need for this project are a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, depending on your electrical panel's makeup, and a digital voltmeter. Before we begin, working with electricity is dangerous, only take on this task if you feel as though you are capable of handling it. In addition and if available, please use safety glasses and gloves, and remove any metallic jewelry or accessories. The first step will be to remove the panel cover. Start by removing the screws from the bottom of the panel. Then press firmly against the panel to remove the last two screws. Set the panel cover off to the side. Take your digital voltmeter and set it to AC volts. Then place the red lead on the breaker terminal and place the black lead on the neutral bar. If the breaker is operating normally, it will read between 110 and 125 volts. If the breaker is bad, the voltage on this test will read anywhere from 0 to 109 volts. As a reference point, you should always take a voltage reading on the main breaker first. This will tell you if what you're seeing on the breaker being tested is normal. For this test both leads will connect to the breaker terminals. Polarity is not a factor so it will not matter which lead connects to which terminal. If the breaker is good it will read between 220 and up to 250 volts. If this breaker is bad or failing, the voltage will read between 0 and 210 volts. There will be a bit of a gray area depending on where you live. Areas further from the city will typically see lower voltages. For the second part of this test, you will leave the red lead on the breaker terminal and place the black lead on the neutral bar. Do this for both sides of a double pole breaker. If the breaker is bad or failing, one side will read 120 volts, while the other side will read between 0 and up to 110 volts. On rare occasions you will see the voltage acting erratically or fluctuating. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial. My goal is to keep these instructionals short and to the point. If you have any additional follow-up questions please use the comment section below. Have a great day and always remember to work safely.